Are you someone who would love to use Foundry VTT if only D&D Adventures were available there? Or you've been thinking of switching your Roll20 campaign over to Foundry, but don't want all that manual work and hassle? Well, then sit back and get your notes ready because I will be showing you how to export a campaign from Roll20 to Foundry with just a few clicks. Oh, and don't worry, all your maps, tokens, and character sheets will move over too. Hi, my name is Fondue, the VTT Wizard. I run this channel called Dice and Easy, where I give you VTT tutorials and post daily TTRPG memes as YouTube shorts. If any of that interests you, hit those subscribe and like buttons down there. As you may know, D&D adventures like Curse of Strahd or Storm King's Thunder are not officially available for Foundry VTT, but there is a way to get them running in Foundry. And no, I don't mean that you have to set up all the maps and walls and lighting etc yourself, but actually getting the Roll20 version with maps, lighting, tokens, walls, and all that stuff set up already, running within Foundry. How this works is that we're going to use the R20 exporter and the R20 converter, both made by Kakarodo, to export the D&D adventure from Roll20 and to convert the adventure from a Roll20 format to a Foundry VTT format, respectively. Now, this is going to cost a little bit since we firstly have to purchase the adventure we want to run from Roll20, and to get the R20 converter, you're going to have to subscribe to Kakarodo's Patreon at the 5 euro tier. What you can do is subscribe to their Patreon, grab the converter, and then end your subscription so you don't get charged additional months. Of course, if you want any future updates to the converter, like support for Foundry version 11, which is coming out later this year, you'll have to subscribe to the Patreon again. It's also important to note that this tutorial will also work for already ongoing Roll20 campaigns. So if you want to take your campaign from Roll20 over to Foundry VTT, with these steps, you will get all of your data moved over from one VTT to the other. This includes maps, journals, walls, lighting, NPCs, player characters, and even the Roll20 chat history. I'm going to be using Curse of Strahd in this tutorial as an example, but these steps will work for any D&D campaign bought on Roll20. You can find a link to Kakarodo's Patreon, the R20 exporter plugin, and to the Roll20 marketplace in the description below. Oh, and one last warning. I cannot promise that Roll20's terms of services allow now or anytime in the future the exporting of content with a third-party tool, so know that there is a risk involved. With all of that out of the way, let me show you how to bring a D&D adventure from Roll20 to Foundry VTT step by step. First, we're going to want to head to Roll20 and buy the adventure we want to run, Curse of Strahd for this tutorial, and go through the purchase process. If you're doing this for an ongoing campaign, you can skip this part and head on over to the R20 exporter part. Check the timestamps to jump the correct part. Then, go to the games menu at the top of the page and click create new game from the drop down menu. On the right hand side, you should see Curse of Strahd under recommended, choose a module. Select it. Give your campaign a name and click I'm ready, create game. We have now created the campaign and you'll have to wait a few seconds for the Curse of Strahd module to get added to the campaign. Once that's done and you see the green confirmation stating that the module has been added to this game, click launch game. After a few moments, your game will load with Curse of Strahd set up. We are now done with the Roll20 part of this tutorial. Leave Roll20 open in your current browser tab and let's move on to the R20 exporter. For this next part, we're going to need Google Chrome as the R20 exporter is only available as a Chrome plugin. If you don't have Chrome, I'll put a download link in the description box so you can easily get it for this part. First, download and install the R20 exporter plugin for Chrome. Link for that also in the description box below. Once you've installed the Chrome plugin, go back to your Roll20 game and refresh the page. When the page is done refreshing, go to the My Settings part in your Roll20 game. That's the cogwheel symbol. Here, you should now have a new button at the bottom called R20 Exporter. Click that and choose Export Campaign to Zip. This will open a new window that shows you the progress of the exporter. Make sure to keep this browser tab focused, so move it to its own window if necessary, because it will make sure the exporting can happen at full speed. Otherwise, it might take a very long time. After a few minutes of waiting, you should now have a zip file with your Curse of Strahd adventure. Make sure to store the zip file in a place where you can easily find it now and in the future. Next, it's time to convert the campaign from a Roll20 format to a Foundry VTT format. All right, at this point, we should have a zip file from our Foundry Roll20 export, which we are now ready to convert. 
First off, let's head on over to Kakaroto's Patreon page and subscribe at the 5 euro tier. Once you're subscribed, click the R20 converter topic at the top, go to the latest post and download the converter from there. After you've downloaded the converter, extract it from the zip file. Then, run the R20 converter executable file. This opens up the converter software. On the software, click the Browse button on the Exported Campaign File line, go to where you saved your Roll20 campaign export on your PC, and select the zip file. Then, click Next Step on the converter software. On the next stage, the converter will ask you where your Foundry data directory is on your PC. It should be able to find it automatically, but in case it doesn't, you can enter it manually. Usually, it is in your app data slash local slash Foundry VTT location on your PC. Note that if you're using the Forge or another hosting service, you will need to do this conversion onto a Foundry instance on your PC first, and then import it over to the hosting service of your choice with the normal importing process. I'll leave a link to a tutorial on how to do that for the Forge in the description below. You can decide to convert to either a compendium or a world. A compendium means that your exported adventure will have to be installed into each Foundry world as a module, and then you need to go to the compendium in that specific world and import the adventure in. Whereas a world means that the adventure will be ready as a Foundry world in and of itself. Compendium is useful if you plan to run many different games with the same campaign, and World if you only need it for one or a few. I'll be using World in this tutorial. Give the World URL and World title a name of your choice if you want. These can be also left blank. You can also set the GM and player passwords for the world here, but this can also be done later in Foundry. You also have some additional settings that you can have a look at, but they are all optional, so you can leave them as is for now. Now press Start Conversion. This conversion will take a moment, and after it's done, you'll get a completed message. Let's check out our adventure in Foundry now that it's done. When we launch Foundry, we will now notice a new game world that has been added to our Game Worlds tab. We can launch the world to check it out. And there it is! Curse of Strahd running in Foundry VTT. As we can see, all the maps are here, and if we jump into them, we can see that all the walls are set up, lighting is there, and all the NPC tokens are where they need to be. For example, if we go to the werewolf den, we can see this in action. On top of that, all the journals, actors, items, and roll tables came over from Roll20. Something that you'll probably notice is that all the windows in your maps are actually doors. You'll have to change them manually to have movement restriction but no sight restriction to make them proper windows. Foundry version 11 is actually going to be improving windows, so look forward to that when it drops later this year. I made a video on the new features coming in Foundry version 11, which you can find in the upper right-hand corner right now. You should check it out. Another problem you might notice is that some doors, for example, might be set as three doors when it's actually just one door. So stuff like this is something you will have to do a little bit of cleanup on manually yourself. This is due to how things were set up in Roll20 of itself, and then it was brought over to Foundry. I want to give a huge thank you for Kakaroto for making these two tools that allow you to bring your Roll20 adventures over to Foundry VTT. If you've been thinking of making the jump from Roll20 over to Foundry VTT, I highly recommend it. Foundry is essentially Roll20 on steroids, providing you a lot more features in Foundry Core, but on top of that, there is a robust modding community that allows you to do things like 3D dice, weather, and spell effects. With this tutorial, you will be able to bring your Roll20 adventures over to Foundry VTT and pick up from exactly where you left off. So let's recap. Buy the adventure you want on the Roll20 Marketplace. Set up your campaign in Roll20. Use the R20 exporter to export the Roll20 adventure. Use R20 converter to convert the adventure from a Roll20 format to Foundry VTT format. And boom, your adventure is now ready to go in Foundry VTT. Are you going to use these tools to bring your adventure over to Foundry VTT from Roll20? Let me know in the comments below. I'd really like to hear your thoughts. And if you found this video useful, I would appreciate a like and subscribe down there and sharing this video with your friends who might find this useful. All those things might seem small, but they make a huge difference to me and help my video reach more people. And I want this channel to grow. Did you know I also stream on twitch.tv slash diceandeasy every Monday and Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern European time, which is 8 a.m. Pacific, and 11 a.m. Eastern. You can join me over there and talk about VTTs and TTRPGs with me. I would love to see you there. On the screen right now, you're going to see another video of mine where I give you some of my favorite Foundry VTT modules. You should check it out. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye